Hi guys, welcome back to this lecture. We talk about uh, here about the classroom environment, how we organize uh, this classroom, and uh, what are, what will be the different components. Here we have uh, here I will show you the different types of uh, virtual machine or the different types of nodes that we will have to use. The, our cluster we will be based on or we will deploy over a operating system which is of a CentOS Stream 8. Definitively, this uh, it will be the the the, our operating system for the deployment. Okay, so all the cluster will be deployed over the CentOS uh, Stream 8. And uh, by your, in yourself, if you have uh, another operating system, it don't, doesn't matter. Okay, you can use it. Okay, not not problem. Self can all be uh, also be able to install uh, on the Ubuntu, Red Hat, and so on. It's possible to install uh, it on this on, on those environments. And uh, regarding the types of uh, clients, because when we will finish uh, the installation of our cluster. You should provision, or you can have to produce different types of storage, and those clients will be. We will have an Ubuntu client here. We have also clients under CentOS nodes. It's possible, okay? So we will do that for for during this testing, uh, during the provisioning part of, of of our course. And other things that you have to you want to talk about is about the characteristic, okay? Of the different of the different nodes that we use during these labs, for each monitor we have those characteristics. We have two virtual CPU and four gig of RAM, and the root disk where we have the operating system, we have twenty gig of of for the root disk. For the and uh, we have four monitor nodes. We have for the four monitor model will be distributed like that. We have three nodes for the cluster A and one monitor node for the cluster B. Okay, so because of after by the end of this lab, we have two uh, cluster, the cluster A and the cluster B, just for the replication purpose or the disaster, disaster recovery scenarios. Okay, so the, for the root disk, we have twenty. I already talked about. Uh, regarding the OSD, OSD nodes, we have uh, seven OSD nodes. On the cluster A, we have uh, four OSD nodes, and uh, on the cluster B, we have uh, three. Okay, uh, three o, o, OSD nodes for the cluster B, just because of that we have seven, you see here uh, seven. Okay, regarding the characteristic of each. For each OSD node, we have uh, two VCC CPU and uh, eight gig of, of RAM. For the root disk, where we have an uh, operating system, okay, we have uh, twenty gig of uh, for, for the hard drive, okay, for the where we have the uh, operating system, and uh, for the OSDs, let me go back. Uh, let me just clean this point. Eraser, I will erase this point. Yeah, let me go back. Okay, for the for those disks. This one, this will be the OSD daemon. Okay, the OSD daemon will be uh, uh, based on this uh, disk OSD. Okay, as you can hear. So we have uh, 10 for each node, for each OSD node, we have uh, 10, 10 uh, drives. Okay, and those drivers will be composed of two types of drives. We have uh, uh, the HDD drives and uh, SSD drive. Okay, so those SSD drive will be a uh, NVMe drive, but we will see during the practice. Just to just to show you how we can uh, increase the performance of your site cluster, how we will be able to uh, configure the, the blue store to be able, able to use all those two types of drivers to increase the performance of your cluster. For the RGW uh, nodes, we have uh, two RGW nodes in this uh, course, and uh, the characteristic is, uh, is this one: we have two vCPU and four gig of RAM and ten gig. 10 uh, for the gigabyte uh, for the for the high drive okay for the hard drive high drive uh, size okay for the mds node we have uh, two nodes and uh, we have we have the characteristic it is this was one we have uh, for uh, two vcp and 4g and so on so we guess we had here and uh, for the utility node this utility node we use as a domain name server our dns will be uh, this deploy under this node and also with NTP, all those nodes will be, will be synchronized with time saw on this node. All the nodes will be take the time saw here. So because that's why you deploy this NTP. And for the DNS, for the, nom, for the name resolution, we will have to install we will install the server here on this node. Simply, and the characteristic is very tiny. Characteristic, we have one one gig of RAM, uh, one gig one virtual CPU and two gig of RAM and for the root disk you have 20 you can use less but uh, it's up to you and uh, it will deploy on the CentOS okay I'm sorry my bad it is will be on the CentOS or node okay so don't do that here it is will be a CentOS but uh, it's up to you okay it will be on CentOS 
width. Okay, next up for the workstation, because we use a workstation uh, node based on the on the on the Windows Server 2019. This node will be our you use our, our workstation nodes if we use it for administrator or to have access to our cluster during this uh, training part. We will also have a HA proxy. This HA proxy is used for the RGW for the high availability of the RGW because we have our two nodes. Okay, so we will do we will use the HE proxy in front to be able to have a scenario of a disaster recovery or load balancing request uh, between behind those two nodes. Okay, for the CFNC ball, you will have this architecture that you use during the part of the CFNC ball. We will only have one cluster that we will use during the, phase, during the part of the CFNC ball. Uh, this uh, part of will during this part, we configure. Uh, uh, monitors, okay, three monitors, uh, two M MGR. We have uh, also four OSDs, three or four OSDs. It, it will be up to you because the configuration will be very easy. You can use three or three or three or, or four OSDs. It, it will be up to you. We have uh, also the utility node. It is, very, it is mandatory to have this one because of a D because of a D DNS and the NTP synchronization. We also have uh, an ISKZ node and uh, MDS, MDS node. We also have uh, a client node in, during this part. So. That okay, that good. So thank you very much. And uh, let's move on to the second architecture. For the lab architecture of CFADM, this cluster, when we will be on the part of CFADM, we will deploy our cluster under two, two uh, sites or two clusters. We have cluster A and cluster B. The cluster A, on the cluster A, we will have uh, four OS in nodes, but on the cluster B, we will have uh, three OS in nodes. Just because on B, don't need to have too much, uh, too much uh, nodes there because we will, we intend to perform a specific scenario. It is the RBD remirroring scenario, and also for self uh, replication scenario. So don't need to have too much nodes there. But we get the idea. Uh, don't, you have you have to to show you show you how to use the RBD and self mirroring. And uh, on the cluster A, we have all types of nodes that we could, we can have, and we have a client client one and the client two. Two types of clients. This the first one will be under the operating system uh, CentOS 8, and the second one will be under, under the Ubuntu node. And uh, the workstation here will be my will be a, a Windows machine that we will use to have access to all nodes during this deployment. So when you will, you will see me uh, have access to any node, it will be fr from from the internet. I will jump to this node, okay, and it will be from it will be from there that I will be able to manage all my whole cluster. Simply okay. So if you intend also to to have this kind of lab, you can email me and uh, we we have we can have a discuss. So thank you very much and I'll see you for the next lecture and take care. Bye from now.